Welcome everyone to Gamer Melt. Today, the RTX 3090 is huge. Nvidia's RTX 3060 Ti specs and release date leak, the first RTX 3080 review, and AMD's RX 6000 GPU gets pictured. Okay, it's news time and first up for today, a picture of Nvidia's behemoth RTX 3090 was shared on Chipel's forums. And as you can see, it's shown in the case and it is a massive GPU. The card features a triple slot design and this shows that the earlier representation we saw next to the 2080 was correct. Not only that, but there's an image of all three upcoming cards sitting next to one another and you can see that the RTX 3090 dwarfs them all. Obviously the huge cooler is required thanks to its massive 350 watt power draw. Luckily, third party cards look to be a bit smaller. When it comes to the 3080, it still looks fairly big, but the 3070 is definitely getting back to earth. Of course, with all the new hardware coming out, your wallet won't be happy, and that means you've got to get the best deals. Well, now you can with today's sponsor, Honey, the free online shopping tool that finds all the promo codes and applies them for you. That means no Googling 100 sites to find the deals that work. Simply click apply coupons when you go to checkout and Honey puts them all right in. Plus, you can see all the possible deals right there on the site. And with support for over 30,000 stores and 100,000 plus five-star reviews, what are you waiting for? You're losing money by not joining Honey. So get it free today at joinhoney.com slash gamermeld. And a thanks to Honey for sponsoring this video. Next up, it looks like we have confirmation on the recently leaked RTX 3060 Ti. In a new report from Video Cards, who's definitely a trustworthy source on leaks, the RTX 3060 Ti is set for release in October. Basically, it's coming right alongside the RTX 3070. Of course, it's weird that the 3060 Ti would be releasing before the RTX 3060, but alas, Nvidia has been doing some odd things lately. As for specs, the 3060 Ti is based on the same GA104 as the 3070, and it comes with 4,864 CUDA cores, a TGP of between 180 and 200 watts, as well as 8 gigabytes of GDDR6 memory. Basically, the recent leak we saw looks to be correct. Not only that, but this confirms the Ti nomenclature, though there could be a supercard coming in the near future. Let's just say October is looking to be a giant month for hardware. Next up for today, we have a couple of the first third-party reviews of Nvidia's upcoming RTX 3000 GPUs. Well, specifically, it's of the RTX 3080, and the first one comes from a video that was posted on Billy Billy. Now, unfortunately, it has been taken down, but not before a copy was made and video cards got a chance to post photos. And according to a tweet from Copite7Kimmy, they are accurate. As you can see, there's multiple synthetic benchmarks from 3D Mark as well as quite a few games. The one thing to keep in mind is that it could be running on unofficial drivers, though because it was removed, I really think that this was a review unit that didn't intend to get seen. Either way, RO Game actually tweeted out a comparison for the benchmarks versus the 2080 Super and 2080 Ti, so let's go over it. Starting things off, we have the 3D Mark benchmarks, which are between 24 and 45% faster than the 2080 Ti, and 43 to a whopping 64% faster than the 2080 Super. Next up, we have a few games with comparisons to the RTX 2080 Super. Starting things off is Far Cry 5, with the 3080 being 62% faster. Next is Borderlands 3 with a 56% improvement, then there's Assassin's Creed Odyssey with a 48% improvement, and next we have Forza Horizon 4 with a 48% improvement over the 2080 Super. Lastly, they compare the performance with DLSS on and off, to which I will say that there definitely is a pretty big difference. Finally, we have a report by Video Cards on confirmed synthetic and gaming performance on the 3080 from multiple reviews that they know have the cards. Either way, according to my calculations, the synthetic benchmarks were, on average, 31.1% faster than the 2080 Ti and 59.2% faster than the 2080 Super. The first actual game that was shown was Shadow of the Tomb Raider, which was around 26% faster than the 2080 Ti and around 49% faster than the 2080 Super. And lastly, we have Far Cry Zero Dawn, which is really interesting because it shows off 1080p specs 
and as you can see, all the cards are around the same, which means whatever CPU they were using clearly bottlenecked the system at this resolution. Either way, while a lot of users seem to be upset about the performance shown here, remember that it's about 50% faster than the 2080 Super, not the regular 2080. That's definitely still impressive, and it shows us that AMD is a huge hurdle to overcome when it comes to beating the new RTX 3000 series performance. Speaking of AMD's upcoming GPUs, an engineering sample that the poster claims is big navvy, so an RX 6000 GPU, was posted on Billy Billy. Now, it has since been taken down, though a copy was reserved. As usual, that typically lends credit to the accuracy, if anything. Still, we don't know for sure that it's real, but a fake like this is highly unlikely. The real unit, especially given the timing, is much more plausible. Either way, let's go over it. For one, you can see that one label mentions XT in it, which is typically a gaming GPU, and the other label mentions 16 gigabytes of Samsung memory. According to the poster, it has a 256-bit memory bus, which is definitely quite small, but that obviously isn't everything. At the end of the day, the RX 6000 series is coming very soon, and make sure to subscribe as I should be doing a stream for that launch. So while that does it for today, we've heard what performance to expect out of Big Navi. Do you think it's enough to pull you away from Nvidia? Let me know down in the comments below, and make sure to check out Honey. And as always, have a great day!